Hi, my name is Davis. This is Davis's Coloring Club. I'm here to teach you kid-friendly art techniques to do at home. And this, today we have EJ here. And mm -hmm. let's get started. Yep. Davis, what are we coloring today? We are going to be coloring Sonic. From the Sonic the Hedgehog movie because it released and we like Sonic, so yeah. <laughs> So, first, again, we are coloring Sonic. We are going to tell you the colors that you need. Wait, before we do that, we're going to give you a few seconds to um, print out, draw it to Sonic the Hedgehog and find this picture. Okay, so Davis, what, what colors do you need? We are going to be able to need gray. Or brown, whichever one. Yes. And then a peach is going to be in the middle. A blue. A light, a light green or dark green. Whichever one works. And a red. And finally a yellow. All right. Let's do it, Davis. All right. I say we f should firstly get out our blue and just kind of outline his hair a little bit. Okay, so yeah, so not down there, but just all around there, just kind of outline it. Yeah. Okay. Just kind of. So we're done with the outlining. What do we need to do next? Um, what I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color in his whole hair this color, but then once I'm done doing that, I'm gonna go over it with this color so that it looks more like dark blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're just gonna color the entire thing in, but don't color in these black spots or like in the eyes or this part. Because yeah. that's not his hair part. Alright, so we are done with our front part over here. So what should we do next? Like the eyes or this mouth? Um, since I also went ahead and did that, you should probably do that. Oh, yes. So, what are we going to do? The eyes or the mouth next? Uh, I say we do... You know, you know, you know what we should do is, since we're going to be sharing a peach, is one person should do the eyes while somebody else is using the peach, and then we can just swap. So, I'll do the eyes, and then you can use the peach. Okay. For right now. Or we can just both do the eyes. <laughs> Okay, so now what are we gonna do next? Should we do the gloves and the arms and like this front part? Sure, let's do like from kind of like there to like make sure I get the little tiny part. Just like, just not yeah. like the body, just kind of like the arms. The arms, yeah. I might actually do this time this one and then. I think. I'm not gonna do that part, so we should. All right, so we should be good. Um, what are we gonna do next? Let's do like the body. Yeah. So we can do like from right here to the legs, 
and then we can Hold do on. that. Hold on a minute, guys. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. did the that leg I'm gonna do that leg and Davis you should so I'm gonna do the legs Davis you'll work on the belly, belly. and yeah. then you can finish that leg while I work on the belly so let's do that now I'm done okay so we're done with our peach so you can toss that um so we'll set that over here yeah. Now, uh, what should we do next? So, we're done. Really, the only thing left to do is the shoes and the yeah. rings. I said we do the rings. Yeah. So, the rings are yellow. yellow. It was kind of obvious. Yeah. Just, let's do that. All through the shoes. No, so these white socks are fine. Now, I don't even know if you can see it, but there is this tiny, tiny loop. And just color that in. And uh, that you're yellow, and then there are this uh, little there's two lines that you can color in those yellow. We'll actually color in all of that yellow. Now, this is white, that's all white, but this part right there is yellow. Mine looks really more different than yours. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we will take, the bottom is actually not, it's actually just white, but we'll color the outside of it red, red, and then color this last part in yellow or like my goldish color, whichever one you have is perfectly fine okay so we are done with our sonic the hedgehog what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my brown or gray actually i'm going to take a pencil no i'm going to take this pen and i'm going to draw some lines on the back like this If viewers, just so you know, this you might see. actually not, you know what I was going for right here? This might not look like that blue, but it looks like electricity is actually like running like through his skin or whatever. Yeah, and I'm going to also do another art technique that's really cool. I'm going to add some blue on the outside so it's kind of like some electricity on his hands touches i'm gonna draw some rain clouds with some in fact it's actually raining outside right now mm -hmm. slash some... thundering with some lightning bolts is basically there is like some hills that he's gonna be running on so what you need to do is you need to kind of put it in between his oh, ah. feet. So I drew it the wrong way. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna... Now I'm gonna make this part peach right there. Um... I can actually do like a much better tsunami. I just kind of have to have like a clear piece of paper and markers. That's like, and then I'll just do like a pretty good tsunami. I did one before in our class at school. I couldn't tell if I kept it or not. I think I did. <laughs> My Dr. Eggman's really, really funny. There's his like glasses. <laughs> there we nice. go. And then I need to cover. And then I'm gonna have some like guns sticking out of his thing, like they're shooting him. And I'm gonna like take some grass patches and like make them like look like they're like blowing up, like. 
because it's like shooting. So kind oh, of like. Oh, I have an idea. 